Hi everybody, it's STEM Sally from OSU Extension 4-H again. Welcome back. Last time we were together, we talked about soy lecithin and it was an additive, an ingredient. Remember we had two chocolatey things and we tried to mix them with milk and one of them just mixed and it actually made the milk move a little bit. It was kind of cool. But the other one really didn't mix very well. The additive that made all the difference was this stuff. It's called soy lecithin, and it comes in other forms, but this is the granulated. Granulated means little tiny, teeny tiny little pieces. So these are tiny little pieces. It looks kind of like cornmeal to me. It's kind of cool. It doesn't really smell like anything, and we're gonna use it in an experiment today. In your kit, you have a big plate. I want you to take out your plate from your kit and set it down in front of you. Oop, my kit's falling over. And then measure out the supplies that we need for this experiment. What we're gonna do, we're gonna need our milk, we're gonna need our soy lecithin, and you're gonna need your food coloring. You can use as many food colorings as you want, but I was just gonna use three, the primary colors, and get those started. So in this colorful chemistry experiment, we're gonna measure three ounces of milk. I'm gonna actually pour it into my cup because it's a three ounce cup. Normally we would use a measuring cup, but we don't really need to today because an accurate measurement isn't super important. We just wanna have enough liquid so that we can see the cool chemical reaction. So now I'm gonna pour it into the plate There it goes. Oh, it's just the right amount. I'm gonna spin it a little bit so it fills up the bottom like a little milk swimming pool for our experiment. And my next instruction says to place three equally spaced drops of food coloring. I really don't think it's super important that they're equally spaced, but we'll get them as close as we can. There's our red, here's our yellow, Yes, oh, this is very cool looking. Look at how it's spreading. That's very cool. This is kind of an experiment, even without the soy lecithin. I can't wait to see what the soy lecithin does. Ooh, the blue is really cool. Ooh, I like the dark colors better. All right, it says I need a teaspoon of soy lecithin. So here's my one teaspoon measuring spoon that I'm gonna use to sprinkle the soy lecithin, measure the soy lecithin, and then sprinkle it onto those three drops of color that I put in my milk. Your soy lecithin will already be measured out, but leave a little bit in there. Just take a couple pinches. We don't have to measure it super closely. Now my instructions say to watch what happens when you add a pinch of soy lecithin on top of each color. So I'm gonna just take a little pinch. <gasps> oh my gosh, that happened so fast. And then I'm gonna put a little more on this color. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's spilling all over the place, but it's fabulous. Look at that. Oh, that one kind of looks like a firework. <gasps> Look at that red oozing into the blue. Now this is really crazy, guys. I put those drops into the milk and it spread a little, but nothing this cool happened. And one of the things that we learned in the last experiment is that soy lecithin is an emulsifier. And one of the reasons that it helps keep things mixed together is because it breaks that little bubble, that little surface tension that's on the top of a bubble of liquid, and it gets in there so that it can spread things around. So it wasn't spreading around before we added this soy lecithin. It, it, didn't, it didn't mix much at all. But now it is. When we add even more, maybe it'll keep going. I don't know. I don't know. It seems to have a stopping point. It must hit a critical max. It can't take any more. You can't just dump tons of this stuff in. The reaction happens really soon. So what we're seeing is the surface tension on the top of the milk on whatever liquid you drop this soy lecithin into is broken so that it can mix everything together. And it's actually really pretty. Now your kit 
came with a straw. If you are feeling like it, you can use your straw to try to blow some bubbles in this mixture. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. I don't want you to see what happens when I do it. I'm gonna leave that fun part up to you. So please get out your straw, put it down into your milk, and remember, we're not drinking it, although if you did drink it, it wouldn't hurt you. Soy lecithin is a food additive, and it's obviously safe if we put it in food, and food coloring is something we put in frosting and foods of all sorts, um, and gum and candy and all sorts of things. So food, that's none of this is gonna hurt you if you do get it in your mouth. Um, but we do want to be careful sometimes when we're doing science. We want to know if we are, can, can touch it or eat it or whatever. We want to take special precautions when we're doing science, but this is all really safe. So put your straw down in and blow some bubbles and see what happens. I'm not going to tell you, but I can't wait to hear what happens when we start our next experiment after this one. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this colorful chemistry experiment. Bye-bye.